Hello loved ones. I'm Sister Dr. Alexis Pauline Gums and I'm honored and excited to be offering a reading from Sharon Bridgeforth, That Black Mermaid Man Lady Oracle Deck. So excited. So this reading is happening in and for a week that comes after a powerful full moon, full moon in Aries. And some astrologers say that's a time of really powerful feminine energy and transformation if we can be receptive to it. I experience every full moon as the time of profound feminine energy and transformation. But I wanted to prepare myself to give this reading by offering an invocation that I use. It's an invocation from my new book, Spill, to bring in feminine energy in all of the elements. The ground shakes with us, the gathering women, grows rich, grows brown, grows deep. The gathered hands women, grown brown grown women, the sure determined feet. The ground grows everything we eat, the graceful stomping women heading home, ungrateful women populating poems. The ground has everything it needs, we have never been alone. The sky sings for us, the rain-making women, the rage-taking women, the blood. The sky so open, so nose wide open, can't refuse the shape of our lungs, can't bear to remain above. The sky sees the shoulders that shrug off hate and celebrate and hug. The sky slows the rhythm by falling out and down and done and drug. The sky begins to know itself. We breathe it in as love. The water waits for us. The wide-eyed women, the walking women, the worst. The water washes the war-rung women, the wailers, the whistle, the first. The water wastes of the undrowned women, the hope floats women, the strong. The water knows us, the whole note women, the half-step harmony song. The fire frees us, the fast-ass women, the fall-in-love women, the freaks. The fire is full of the all-out women, the walk-out women, the sweet. The fire is finding the love lost women, the worth it women, the ones. The fire is blazing the brash blue women's, the black eyed women's, the wiry women with guns. The fire is becoming the sun. Our work here is not done. So I'm gonna pull three cards, one for the beginning, middle and end of the week. So the first card we have is an ancestor card, and as Sharon Bridgeford says, this whole deck is an ancestor deck, so it's all about love, but this is especially starting our week with ancestral presence and love. And the back of the card says, gratitude, praise to the light, praise to the night, praise to the workers work with sight. Praise, I say praise, praise, I say praise. And this to me, this, this works for every week, but starting off this week with gratitude, with really checking in with, touching our ancestors and being grateful for all the work that they have done that makes us possible and all the work that it makes, that they make possible for us to do is the perfect way to start out this week. So really grounding with ancestors and getting access to that love so it can infuse the whole rest of the week. And this second card for the middle of the week, that Black Mermaid Man Lady card. So that's about mystery. And so as Sharon Bridgeforth also says, this whole deck is an ocean deck. And so it means it's really about what's under the surface. So for the middle of the week, it says, let your subconscious mind emerge. They down there. They down there. They look at me. They eyes, they pierce. I know they trying to tell me something, but I always wake up right when they mouths open, right when they mouths open. Fishes and fishes and pearls flow out. 
So to me this says that the middle of this week is a great time to really pay attention to your dreams. If you're a person who usually doesn't remember their dreams, maybe just make a point to have your dream journal. I know how I do it, literally right next to my face with the pen already there. Because by the time I look for a journal and look for a pen, I usually forget my dream. So to really see if you can make space to listen for your dreams, even if you're a person who doesn't always have those, or to give yourself ways in conversation or through meditation to look under the surface, to let yourself go into that aspect of your subconscious mind and trust it. I know for me, it's been a challenge to not always depend on my rational mind or my quote unquote conscious mind um, and to trust the more mysterious, the less known, the less controllable from, from my perspective. And I would also add that Audre Lorde writes about the importance of dreams, the power of dreams as related to the power of poetry. So you could use poetry as a way to access what's underneath the surface. And Audre Lorde, um, where, where we say the subconscious mind, some people say the subconscious mind, Audre Lorde says the non-European consciousness. So I'll let you reflect on that all week. And then for the end of the week, we have Grand Nana for clearing. And the back of the card says, stand in your power. There Grand Nana stand, hands on hips, full moon eyes, hair hanging like a hundred thick black ropes down she back. You couldn't tell nothing for sure looking at Grand Nana. Didn't nobody know all the of old Grand Nana. Hell, didn't nobody really know were Grand Nana a woman or a man or both. But what was clear as Miss Mama's crystal was it is best not to cross Grand Nana. So this is exciting to me. So this energy of clearing, and I don't know if you can see it on the card, it's really beautiful. Grand Nana is in a stance, like hands on hips, you're not coming through here. And I think that we all could stand up for ourselves in our lives in that way. And this card is encouraging that. Stand in your power, whoever you are. And I think that, you know, in my culture, in my community, we have a practice of saying, you don't know me, right? And the mystery of Grand Nana is part of that, that power of, you don't have to understand everything about me. You don't have to be able to put different things about me in a category or a box. What you need to know is that I know who I am and I'm here in my full power. So this is gonna be an amazing week. We're starting off with the gratitude of our ancestors, pulling their power in. We're using that power to be brave and to go under the surface and get even more depth and insight. And all of that is culminating in us being able to fully be in our power, be grounded where we are, in the inexplicableness, in the in-processness, but with full confidence and love. So this is such an amazing oracle deck. I recommend it to everyone. Much gratitude to Sharon Bridgeforth and everybody who put this project forward. I hope you have a beautiful week. Much love.